In fact, one of the biggest news stories of any day ever. <laughs> Former President Donald Jailbird Trump <laughs> got a visit from the FBI. Tonight, breaking news, former President Donald Trump saying the FBI has raided his Mar-a-Lago resort. Mr. Trump saying a short time ago that the FBI has carried out an unannounced raid at his home at the Florida Club and that they even broke into his safe. Boxes and boxes of documents have been seized from former President Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago home after the FBI conducted a wide-ranging search. This may be the most politically explosive raid ever undertaken by the FBI. Something that has not happened before in American history. So just take that in for just a second. It doesn't get any more significant than this. Not just aggressive, this is unprecedented. Absolutely unprecedented. Unbelievable. I mean, stunning. Oh my God. <laughs> the FBI raided Donald Trump's house in Mar-a-Lago. The FBI people raided a former president's house. This is huge. This is bigger than when the feds investigated Bill Clinton for doing mouth stuff with that saxophone. <laughs> and by the way, by the way, this raid, just so you know, has nothing to do with January 6th, or tax fraud, or giving the White House plumber PTSD. No, <laughs> apparently, apparently this investigation is about Trump taking classified documents from the White House. And, and honestly, you know, I'm amazed that Trump has time for all of this crime. Like at any moment, at any moment, Trump's got a crime that he's covering up, he's got a crime that he's doing now, he's got a crime that he's plotting for the future. He's like the Steve Harvey, but of crimes, you know? <laughs> Every day I'm like, does he have the same hours in the day as me? He gets so much done. Now, if you remember, if you remember, earlier this year, the feds already had to go down to Mar-a-Lago and take back 15 boxes of documents that Trump wasn't supposed to have, but apparently they think there's more hidden on the property. Right? And I believe that. I believe that too. I mean, like, Trump's not gonna keep records in a filing cabinet like a normal person. <laughs> that was the same dude who buried his ex-wife on a golf course. I mean, think about that. <laughs> and yes, it is totally unprecedented for the FBI to raid the home of a former president. That is true. That has never happened in American history. But don't forget, Donald Trump has also never happened <laughs> in American history. <laughs> Everything is an anomaly with this man. I mean, like, why do you think a book from one of his staffers comes out every single week? Because every single person he interacts with is like, yo, have I got a up story for you? <laughs> and wouldn't it be weird if this is the thing that takes Trump down? We thought it would be something like conspiracy or bribery or blackmail, but no, Trump's got busted for taking work home with him. <laughs> what a nerd. Now, obviously, President Trump recognizes the gravity of this situation, which is why he has refrained from comment while the legal process is... Nah, I'm joking with you, come on. <laughs> the guy released a statement immediately, immediately. He read, these are dark times for our nation. As my beautiful home, Mar-a-Lago, in Palm Beach, Florida, is currently under siege, raided and occupied by a large group of FBI agents. They even broke into my safe. What's the difference between this and Watergate? What's the difference?